those people that you feel sincerely they are the one that offended you huh you do not look like you are the one that is even more troubled than them i don't know if you get me like those people that you feel all right that have really offended you it's not like you are not the one carrying the burden and those ones that offended you are not the one like they're just living a frivolous life that's they are living a free life but you the one that refuses to forgive <laughs> just like you're the one carrying your body hello my beautiful family how are you doing i'm just coming from somewhere and i know you already know because you saw me like I'm walking along the road, so I want to ask a question. Hi, yes, once again, hi. Good morning, good afternoon, or uh, evening. Different parts of the world where you're watching me from. Um, thank you for joining me. If you don't have a subscribe, all right? Subscribe and don't forget to hit on the bell because I'm at the seaside. There's a question I just want to ask everyone of us. Are there people that you have in mind, have in mind what I mean, that have offended you? and in your heart like these people have done dreadful acts to you what i mean by that like when you are discussing it with somebody what that person really have done is a disaster the person that really offended you to the extent that the thought of forgiveness is so difficult for you to you know to you know to um carry out or to execute uh, towards that person that offended you i know how it feels even there are a lot of us that you know, even a man of God, they've spoken a lot of things um, against a, a man of God, and because of that, they have carried causes indirectly in their lives, and it's affecting them. Some they are aware that it's because of what they are said to a man of God. We know that these days there are a lot of um, fake <laughs> prophets and prophetesses, men of God, telling you that God called them, uh, you know, to do His work. Um, most probably it might not be true, but it's not um, left for you to judge them. Bible says that don't judge because um, it's only him that, that is able to judge on that day he knows those that have wronged and those that you know that, 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 that are right right so it's not meant for you to judge anyone it's meant for god to judge them actually these men of god we know that they are not you know moving on the right path especially in this end time they're not moving the right path and you and i know that um, um even these big men of god i'm talking of those that sincerely that god is using many of them are you know going out of hand they are uh, you know, preaching what they're not supposed to preach why because you know the devil these days is not really folding his hands anymore if you don't know he's doing everything possible especially for those of us that are truly saved that are christians i'm not talking about those of them that in their mouth they say they are christians but the way they act no i'm talking about those that have sincerely given themselves to christ that are passing through you know everyday challenges that will make the devil always pose these challenges to them that will make them you know fall out of faith it's not meant for you to judge this man of God or judge women of God or judge anybody that is into any act that is not proper in the sight of God. It's less for God to judge, all right? And because of that, a lot of us really are carrying some, um, you know, they are carrying bondages. What I mean by bondages of causes um, that a man of God have laid on them, all right? And some are aware that it's because of what they have said to that man of God, that's why they are passing through this. And they are scared. Where I'm going at is... Some of them are scared because of you. You, the man of God that is watching me, or a woman that somebody have done something wrong to you, have said things, have castigated you, have laid um, um, a false accusation against you of what you have not done. And because of that, you said a lot of things. And, you know, those people that were really offended, you know, they are in bondage. They are there are a lot of things they are passing through because of you because you refuse to accept them into your loving hands many of them are just moving around the streets and um, nothing to show for it all right they're just you know, like a living dead corpse and because of what you are they have done to you because of um, you know the grudges that you have against um, them you you tie just like you tied them up you're the one tying them up so if god could forgive you why wouldn't you, you know release an act of forgiveness and forgive these ones that really have you know done um, something that you feel that it cannot be heard of like it's not your heart even there are some that have even killed their, their somebody's child invariably or indirectly they've killed the child and there's nothing like forgiveness like between you and i you know that it's not going to be easy for somebody that have killed your child or that have killed you know your loved ones for you to forgive but <laughs> If God, like his son that came to die for us, even at that point when he was on the cross, he was able to forgive two 
you know, um, um, robbers. You and I know that in the word of God says that when Jesus was being crucified, two robbers was crucified along with him. He didn't, you know, um, um, you know, castigate them or um, like push them aside or like, um, you know, say things like, no, these ones, they are not worthy. No, he didn't push them away. He, he told them, he said, even one of them said, Jesus, please for, um, um, remember me when you get to your kingdom. And he didn't resist. Right there at the cross, even those that have crucified Jesus, that crucified Jesus, he forgave them immediately at that very cross. So a lot of us, how um, are you really, like, is it possible for you to do that act? No, as a human being, it's not possible. But God will give us the grace, right? So why I'm saying this, because just forgive anybody I'm offended, no matter, I know. Most times, most times, you know, a situation of forgiveness, there is a way for <laughs> forgiveness. This act of forgiveness, there is a way it functions. You just find out that even those people, there is some way, even those people that you feel that I don't know whether it happens to you, those people that you feel sincerely they are the one that offended you. Huh? You do not look like you are the one that is even more troubled than them. I don't know if you get me. Like those people that you feel, all right, that have really offended you. It's not like you are not the one carrying the burden. And those ones that offended you are not the one like they're just living a frivolous life that's they're living a free life but you the one that refused to forgive <laughs> just like you're the one carrying your body more than those ones that offended you so that is how you now get to understand that there is a way this forgiveness is a way this art of forgiveness works so you have to you know take on that step all right take on that step it doesn't take anything I know how difficult it can be all right how difficult that might be like it's not easy for you to forgive but you have to because you have to release yourself and release those that you are tied those that you are tied a lot of them are just in, in, in captivity so you have to release them and those that really that you have offended forgive them so that you can live a free life there's no like freedom like what I'm saying is because a lot of people are having sicknesses this day, like deadly sicknesses, you know. They have gone to hospital to hospital and you know, you are listening to me, like there is some kind of challenges you are passing through, you have prayed, you have done a lot of things. And you begin to ask, what have you done wrong? Like why God, just check yourself if there's anybody that really offended you. Yes, I know they offended you, but just please look for a way to, you know, throw those things away. And if it's not possible for you to do that, ask God because... For me, God is just number one. There's nothing he can't do, all right? Ask God to give you the strength to be able to forgive these ones that have offended you. Release them and, you know, release yourself, all right, from the bondage, all right? So that you know where you belong. If there is any difficult thing that you're passing through and you know in your heart that you have released those ones that have offended you, just wait on God. Be patient. God is going to see you through, all right? So this is just what I want to leave um, behind. Today is um, um, a new week. I just want to leave this behind to bless someone out there. Just forgive and just live a free life, all right? It's not a life freedom, all right? So I love you guys. If you don't have us, please, if you want us to share some uh, motivated, um, you know, uh, topic like this, don't forget to subscribe. Hit on the bell. That shows the way they have new content. Like, all right? Like. I always say this. Please like and share. So I love you guys. We're going to meet on our next one. Let me just show you the feel of this environment where I'm this background where I'm doing this video right now. So I love you very much. So we're going to meet on the next one. See you.